Hey guys, Lex Levenrad over here, and one of the number one questions I get asked by people is how to find houses. So I want to just break down a couple of different ways that you can go about doing that. So there's a lot of different techniques for finding houses, and I'm just going to go through them real quick. All right. So number one, we've got um, direct mail marketing, right? So mailing postcards and yellow letters out is a great way. Another method that we have for getting houses is um, outbound dialing, so making outbound calls, whether it's cold calls to for sale by owners, expired, calling listing agents, etc. right? And then you can do ringless voicemail, so you could buy lists of absentee or any kind of list for that matter, and you could just send out outbound ringless voicemails, and then they would get a voice drop and they would call you back, right? So that's another way. Um, another old-fashioned way that a lot of people don't like doing as much anymore is just put out bandit signs, right? So put bandit signs out in the neighborhood that you're targeting, looking for motivated sellers. And um, some other methods that you can do is just good old-fashioned bidding, right? And I, I like to say it's old-fashioned because it seems like no one's doing it anymore because I go on sites like hudhomestore.com and I bid on a property and I get the property and I flip it for twenty dollars or $25,000 more and I ask myself, why didn't anybody else bid on that property? And uh, it's a great example of why it's a good idea to have a real estate license, right? So you can bid online on HUD Home Store's website. You can also bid online on auction.com. You can bid online on, on um, HUBZU. And you can bid online on Zoom. You can also bid online on Fannie Mae's website, HomePath, and on Freddie Mac's website, which is Home Steps. So that's right there, six sites you could be bidding on. And then in addition to that, there's just the old-fashioned MLS, right? Getting access to the MLS. Searching, picking up the phone, calling a listing agent, and making an offer. And all of the things that I just outlined right now could be done by a virtual assistant for you. So in other words, you can hire somebody to make outbound calls. You can hire someone to do ringless voicemails. You could hire someone to mail for you, to cold call for you, and you could hire someone to bid on properties for you. So remember, your highest value served, your highest dollar capacity is flipping houses and finding houses. Leave all the other tasks to other people and focus on where the money is and the money's in finding deals. So it's easy to find deals if you know where to look. If you want to learn more about how this works, make sure you check out the partnership program tab on our website. So just go to lexlevenrad.com. At the top you'll see there's a tab called partnership program. Click on it. It's our most popular product and the reason it's so popular is because basically we have you become a bird dog for us. So essentially we teach you how to go out and be a property locator and find deals. And then when you find those deals, you bring them in and we, we can buy them or we can market them to our cash buyers and they can buy them. So if you want to learn how to start wholesaling, that's a really good way to get started. Just go to my website, lexlevenred.com and click on the Partnerships tab and you can get started.